Third grade men, third grade men, does what a third grade man can. Can he make a comic feed? Yes, he can. He just did. Watch now a video from Grey Man. A video from Grey Man. Here I am. It's me again, the Grey Man. Why, hello there, all you sexy people out there in YouTube land. Oh, yeah. Right. I am doing another contest entry. It is for Mr. Comics 89. Yeah. Um, it's kind of dubbed the Dark Avengers contest. Basically, he wants you to take the team of the original Avengers, I think from the movies, which is uh, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. And he wants you to choose a team to battle them one on one. So. I thought, okay, so these are all Marvel heroes. Why don't I get a team together of DC villains to take on the Marvel heroes? And you haven't got to necessarily like make it so they're going to be completely destroyed. It's not like necessarily you're, you're forming a team. It's more of what would you like to see in a comic or what would make a good comic or what would make a good battle, that kind of thing. So don't just go and choose all the highest villains ever to uh, destroy it. Like, don't, don't, don't set like Sentry against uh, Hawkeye or something like that. You know, just make it a nice, interesting, cool battle. That's the, the main idea of it. So for Captain America, uh, you know, truth, justice in the American way, an all-round good fellow, I'm going to put him up against Bane. Yes, Bane. He's a big hulking brute. Let's have Bane. Let's have Venomized Bane as well, so he's got all that you know, that power and strength. I'm pretty sure Captain America will take him out, but it'll be a long, hard battle, that's for sure. Definitely. Uh, then we've got Iron Man. Uh, yeah, interesting. I was trying to think of some uh, armoured foes that you could uh, battle from DC. My brain was being a bit of a blank, to be honest. Instead, I thought of a comic that I picked up recently and a, a villain in it, The Shade. The Shade would be an interesting villain for Iron Man. Um, I dare say the Shade would put would you know, put him in pitch black so he couldn't see what was going on. But uh, Iron Man probably would have his uh, inbuilt sensors in his armor, probably be able to to pick him up. But yeah, Shade also has his uh, solid light, a uh, solid dark light constructions, doesn't he? I think that would be an interesting an interesting battle. And then we got four the God of Thunder. That's his hammer. Um, I've chosen him to battle a Bizarro. Yes, Bizarro, of all the strength of Superman. And uh, that'll be a, a battle for the ages. And also, I don't know, Bizarro would be a bit like, you'd think he'd probably, probably think he's some kind of frost troll or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think that would be an interesting battle. Uh, just trying to picture what, what Bizarro would say to Thor. <laughs> Me like short head. Brunette man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he likes to say everything backwards, didn't he? Right, and we got the Hulk. And I was thinking, hmm, this one actually came quickly, more quickly to me than I expected. It was the last one I chose, but I was just like going for a list. And I said, I went, oh, wow, this guy, yeah, definitely. So who could fight the Hulk? Hulk is strongest one there is. You know, the madder Hulk gets, the stronger Hulk gets. And I thought to myself, hmm, that'll be a tasty buffet for this uh, villain, the Parasite. Superman's villain, the Parasite, who can suck the strength and powers from Superman himself. Just think of the gamma, the gamma radiation treat he would have by uh, facing off against uh, Hulk. I actually know Hulk fought the Absorbing Man, actually, in a recent Immortal Hulk comic. Uh, I read it online, actually. And, uh, yeah, the... I don't think that would be the same though, that would be the same outcome, because the Absorbing Man kind of absorbed his powers, whereas, um... Parasite, you know, drains the powers. Not only does he take their powers, he drains it from them, so they, you know, are no longer as strong as they once were. I think that would be an interesting battle. Uh, right, Black Widow. Who can Black Widow combat, I thought to myself. And I immediately came up with the, the greatest martial artist in the DC Universe, allegedly, Lady Shiva. Uh, she's a cold, hired assassin. She, you know, her martial arts skills are unparalleled. She's taught everybody. She's fought everybody. She's beaten everybody. Quite often, they come back and manage to sort of get her in the in the re in the re you know in the return bout. But you know, she is uh, 
definitely one one to behold. And can Black Widow beat Lady Shiva? I think her widow's bite might help her in that respect. But uh, yeah, interesting battle. Who will win? And then Hawkeye. He's got his boot. He's got his uh, his arrows. He's got his bow. He's got some martial arts skill. And I thought comparable. We'll have Captain Boomerang. Captain Boomerang, the Flash uh, from the Rogues Gallery of the Flash. And nowhere near a good a uh, skilled hand to hand combatant as Hawkeye. But he's got his own you know his own variety of weapons. I could figure them having quite a good duel against each other. Arrows versus boomerangs. Trick arrows versus trick boomerangs. Which one will come up trumps? I've got to say, I think Hawkeye would have the edge there. I do believe Hawkeye would uh, outsmart and uh, if, if you're getting close, definitely would outfight Captain Boomerang. But uh, you know, Captain Boomerang, he'll come back like he always does. <laughs> right, so that's my team to face off the Avengers. There's my Dark Avengers team to face, uh, well, I'm actually going to give them a different name. What can I call them? Uh, oh, I can't bother to come up with a smart name of them. Um, no, forget it. <laughs> my brain doesn't do smart. Not without thinking about it for about five hours first. Ah, so that's it. That's my entry for Mr. Comics 89. Uh, make sure you make your own entry. It's not difficult. All you got to do is come up with some villains to fight the uh, the Avengers. You know, make a video about it. Help spread the word on Mr. Comics 89's channel. And uh, yeah, and actually I'm going to shout out one more channel before I go. Because that's what I try to do. I don't actually, I've been forgetting it a bit lately. Uh, but never mind. Let's shout out one. I'm not too sure how active they are. But I've written them down on my list a while back. When I watched one of their videos. And I'm not sure if they've like still doing videos. No, but I think it's easy for, for uh, small channels to get down heartened really quickly. That's why it's really important that we, you know, do go and sub them up. So, it's Comics Fan for Life. But comics is spelled, I think, C-O-M-X fan, and then it's for the number life. Uh, I'll put the link down below and up in the corner, providing the channel's still going. And uh, yeah, I'll be back another time with another contest or another haul or whatever. And uh, until I return, may all your news be good news. Go sub, Mr. Comics 89. Go sub, Mr. Comics 89.